What's up everybody? This is Chris, aka Born on 11970. Thank you for watching this video. And I'm going to put some emotion into this cuz I find that it gets a better reaction especially when it's genuine. And after a video I just watched and I am going to post the link in the bottom of the description page. I want you to watch this video. It angers me how easily the masses are fooled. And to give a premise of this video, it basically is a person who works in advertising that is showing a group of people how easily they manipulate people. And when you see the subject that they talk about and how she's smiling and laughing and seeming like, oh, you know, I'm a salesperson. My job is to convince you of lies. And how stupid do you feel? When you're done watching this movie, you're going to be angered. Or at least you should be if you have a heart. It shows all the points I try and make about how we bomb other countries and steal their resources, steal their, steal their wealth. So as long as we can get a $5 toaster at Walmart, we look the other way. Now, there are no graphic images in the video, so that's the good part I'm happy about. So they sent the message without having to use that kind of... Fear porn, that I like to call it. But it definitely shows the arrogance of salespeople, how they just change words so you feel comfortable about what is being done to you. Because that's basically what it is. So if you're a subscriber of mine and you're not one of those idiotic trolls who just waste their life away by trying to be part of the problem, I want you to watch that video. It's about a five-minute video, but it will hit home. And it will send you a clear message of what is being done to all of us around the world when we look the other way because we feel better. And you think that your life is good because you feel better of an illusion. And it's like in The Wizard of Oz. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Just be scared of the image that's put on the screen. People need to wake up, especially when it comes to the things that you're putting in your bodies. You know, if you want to put poisonous toxin in your body, that's perfectly fine. But what you're feeding your kids, when you research what it really is, if somebody said to you, here, here's some poison, give this to your kids, it's good for them, you would sit there and say, you're an idiot, you wouldn't do it. But yet, because there's fancy cereal boxes and wonderful labels and all these nice fancy words that make you feel good, you're actually helping the system to poison your children and your loved ones. And you seem to be happy with it. And, you, and some people will actually attack people like me for trying to care enough for people around the world to help them. Because... The fact that I'm human, I don't do everything perfect. I make mistakes from time to time. So the moron hater people, the trolls that are part of the problem because they do nothing productive in their lives, will point out the one or two mistakes to distract you. It's the smoke and mirrors. It's the magician. Here's the trick over here, but we're going to make you look over here so you don't know what's going on. So that's the job of the trolls and the haters. Yeah, I have a few that just don't like me. That's fine. But there are paid people out there, and if you don't think they are, I'm sorry, you just don't get it. Because if you go on their Google Plus pages, every single comment they leave on every single person's video is something to try and distract you from the message. Instead of coming up with legitimate problems and truth, they, they like to make accusations. Because why? They want you to feel good that you're safe in your world, and there are people on your side saying, this is crazy. Well, you're being poisoned. Well, you're being extracted of your wealth. Well, you're spending your life on a treadmill with some rich person with money right here that you can't reach. And you spend your whole time trying to get there, doing their jobs for them. And they've mastered this. They learn how to manipulate people based on their emotion. So governments throughout the world, and especially in this country, because we're supposed to police the world, the job of this government, this corporation, is to extract money. 
And if it can't do that, it does it by extracting money from other places. In other words, what they do is they go to other countries, steal their wealth, bomb the people, murder a few thousand people, which they'll call collateral damage because it makes you feel better. And then they steal the, their wealth. They put bases in their countries. In other words, occupy their lands, bring their raw materials over here. Well, actually, no, they bring it over to China so they can not have to pay taxes. And they also get cheap labor so you can get your $20 DVD player. And when you have your food, how they torture these animals, how they restrict them in little cages. They spend their whole life that way. But you don't want to see that. Because then your bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich doesn't taste as good when you know that animals are being mistreated that way. You don't want to know about that. And that's how they sell you. And that's how they can put all those chemicals in your food and water. And they'll make nice little sayings about how it's trying to improve things and how the technology is improving. And yet... We're getting sicker, fatter, angrier, more depressed, and more violent, more alone, more separated than any other time that I can even remember. And we're supposed to be improving? And if you look throughout history, the average person doesn't get it until it's too late. And that's why when I talk about things like gold and silver and I talk about potential problems in the future, people change in an instant. Right now, gas is around hovering between $350 and $4 a gallon. And if I said to you, I'll sell you a gallon of gas for $100, you would say, no, thank you. That's crazy. But you know what? When Hurricane Sandy came about and people could not get gas, there were people online waiting all day that they were so desperate for gas, they paid $500 for five gallons of gas. I didn't sell it to them. But there were definitely accounts of people who did, and they profited off of it. So when things change, they change in an instant. And when it goes from something you're so used to having around you take for granted to all of a sudden you have no access anymore, you will pay through the nose for it. So if I was going to sell you gas right now for, a, for, let's say, $50 a gallon, and you said that's ridiculous, and then all of a sudden tomorrow, for some reason, you can't get gas anymore. Now it's $500 for five gallons. I bet you you would have wished you would have spent the $50 a gallon then. That's how they get you. They get you on emotion. That's why when something is low, they don't want you to know about it. They don't want you to talk about it. They want you to stay away from it so all the wealthy people can buy it all up. I mean, look at Bitcoins, for example. Whether you believe in them or not, remember for years, the first year or so when it was a dollar, no one talked about it. Then it went up to 12 or 20 and then went back down to a dollar. No one talked about it. Then it went up to 40. Everybody talked about it. Then it crashed. No one talked about it. Then it went as high as 1,200. So I guarantee you when Bitcoins were at $7 and somebody said, oh, I paid $50 of Bitcoin for them, people would have said, oh, that's crazy. Well, if they held on to them when they got to $1,200, guess what? That $50 isn't really mattering at that point. But governments want to distract you. Salespeople want to distract you. They know how to do it. You're being fooled, and you're actually helping them to poison the air, to poison the land, to kill the animals, to kill the people, to take away your wealth. And yet there will be people who will thumb down my video, or they will make ridiculous comments. Like when I talk about things like my Oregon pyramids, when I talk about the energy they create, does be, do people not research science anymore? Do people not know that your computer is made of primarily silicone, your computer parts? Silicone is quartz. Quartz comes from the earth. You've never heard of vortexes. What do you think keeps this planet in, sp in, in space in its, in its rotation? There is a magnetic field. Why does it work for certain things and not for others? I mean, are, are people just that stupid? They're either that stupid, they don't care, or they're getting paid to discredit people so the masses can sleep better at night. This is why I'm trying to change my life. When I started seeing all this stuff, I decided it matters. I decided to care. That's why I gave up meat. That's why I stopped drinking tap water and even the regular water that they send you that says it's supposed to be pure. I drink distilled water. That's why I don't work for corporations anymore. As much as I struggle, I try and create art. I try and become independent. 
I mean, look at this. I'm going to show you the pyramid I just made. Look at the size of this thing. This took me five hours to create. But you know what? There will be people that will attack me for it because I'm trying to earn a living instead of working for Wall Street or working for Pathmark or Walmart or McDonald's, making other people rich while I'm helping to distribute poisons. The day we stop feeling comfortable and see what's going on, you'll realize that there's a man behind the curtain. And it's called government. I'm angry because it's just amazing that nobody will listen. Hardly anybody. And more people will attack me for the way, the way I go. Because I don't edit my videos and I keep it real. I don't cut out the parts where I make a mistake. Because I want people to see me for who I am. And that's a real person. Well, all these others hide in their computer. Like when I had that, that viral video about talking about AIDS. There were literally over 200 people that were supposedly different YouTube accounts that all posted the same exact comment showing the same exact link. And when you checked on their videos, and I went through at least half of them, every single one of them had zero views, zero subscribers, no videos, and they were just created just in that week. But I'm sure that's just a coincidence. But when I talk about how YouTube and other government people, they pay people to do this, you say it's crazy. This is why I separate myself from most people at this point. Because people just don't care. And the world is getting crappier and crappier. If you can tell me the world is getting better, then by all means, please show me examples of where the world is improving. And you're getting your $9... DVD player because somebody in China is being exploited and they're not having to pay taxes and they're allowing suicide nets to go up and they steal the resources from some other person's country and they have the right to be sovereign because our country, if they don't want to use the dollar, we bomb them by calling them terrorists instead of telling the truth. Then we take over their raw materials and leave bases there. Just imagine if some country tried to do that here in this country. I bet you wouldn't like it. But yet, we seem to have no problem with that as long as you can keep your conveniences. Well, you know what? I gave up a lot of my conveniences. I don't own credit cards anymore. I don't put my money in a bank. I use a federal credit union. I don't invest in stocks and paper garbage. Yeah, it could make me money. But yes, money is not money. It's debt. You're, when you put more of that money that they call you, that they say is money in your pocket, you're creating more deficit, which means they get to borrow more money from these private banks at 0% interest, which they turn back onto the country and your fellow brethren are paying the price. So your fat wallet can be filled. God damn, people. Wake the fuck up.